Hello, I'm Brandon Miller from the journal Chaos, an interdisciplinary journal published by the American Institute of Physics uh, on nonlinear science. Uh, with me today at MIT is Dr. Thomas Peacock, contributing editor to the journal, uh, who recently put together a special focus issue of Chaos entitled Lagrangian Coherent Structures and Fluid Flows. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Peacock. Yeah, my pleasure. And uh, can you tell me briefly about your background and what you do here at MIT? Sure. Uh, my background is in nonlinear dynamics and chaos. Uh, I actually started off working with very complex fluids, liquid crystals, that you have in your laptop display. Uh, and I decided those were too difficult for me. Um, so, uh, so I went to work on a much simpler fluid like water. Um, but I pretty quickly found out that actually water itself, uh, the flows of water are uh, extremely complex and so I became very interested in how ideas from nonlinear dynamics uh, and chaos theory uh, can help us understand what's going on in these complicated fluid flows. So uh, since coming here at MIT, uh, I've spent a lot of time working on problems uh, where we're trying to understand flows in the ocean or the atmosphere, things like that. And how did you get interested in the Lagrangian coherent structures, or the LCS? Well, what's been very interesting is that over the last uh, 10 years, there's been a real resurgence in these LCS methods to try and understand fluid flows. Um, what has basically happened, at least my understanding, is that some of the ideas from classical nonlinear dynamics that were developed in the 1960s and 1970s, um, researchers have now recognized how these techniques can be adapted uh, to even more complicated scenarios. So, so I got interested in, uh, as I saw the work being developed over the last 10 years, and uh, uh, I thought it seemed like a really exciting field to, to be getting into. And, and how does the uh, LCS relate to uh, something like the recent oil spill in the, the Gulf Coast? Okay, yeah, so this is um, definitely an area where it, it's obviously very high profile uh, uh, right now. So one of the first uh, real demonstrations of, of LCS several years ago was um, uh, some very interesting studies of pollution control off the coast of Florida, uh, also off the coast of California. Uh, and this work showed that uh, by tracking these LCS, you can help understand where things are going to go uh, in the ocean. So for something like the Deepwater Horizon event that's going on right now, uh, what it's hoped is that using these latest tools, these LCS, uh, we can more accurately help predict where the oil from the spill is going to go. And uh, it's a very challenging problem because uh, you have oil that will make its way all the way up to the surface, uh, in which case you're thinking about oil moving in kind of two dimensions just on the surface of the ocean. And that's one area of LCS research. But then a lot of stuff is clearly going on down below and three dimensions. Uh, and that's really where the cutting edge research and uh, LCS work is right now. Uh, so it, it's definitely a very exciting application uh, to be working with LCS for. Uh, it's just unfortunate it's a, not a very nice situation at all uh, going on down there right now. So. Right. Is there a consistent viscosity to crude oil? Um, is it just a very dense Thing, or is, it, is there something more complex to the to inside? Yeah, uh, it, so it's, it's going to be very variable. Um, uh, the, the what what is leaking from the uh, from the broken well down on the seabed uh, uh, and what ends up at the surface? There's a lot of changes in the properties of the of the oil and uh, everything else that's mixed with it that's coming out as it goes up. So so that's definitely a challenge um, uh, and. Uh, there is an area of, of LCS research that uh, is hopefully able to start tackling things like this. Um, it's actually a development called uh, inertial hydrogen coherent structures, which is where you have a fluid 
something that's moving around, and then you're interested in something that's trapped within that fluid, so whether it's particles or oil. Uh, and as you said, um, you know, what is the viscosity of that oil? How does it move relative to the water? Um, so those are very important things to know to be able to predict where it's going to go. So, um, uh, but it's going to be very variable in the case of the deep water horizon as you go from den deep up to the surface. And are there potential applications that can be developed from, from the, the LCS theory applying that? There applications to, I guess, capture the oil in some way, or is this just a prediction model? Uh, so, I mean, it's definitely a, it's a prediction model in terms of uh, it's going to provide guidance uh, as to where you think the oil is going to end up. but. You know, having that knowledge is uh, very important if you're going to put out booms or if you're going to... Uh, actually, one, one thing that's uh, come up is uh, you know, people find, uh, are finding oil all over the place right now because it's obviously in the news uh, and it costs money to go and test that oil and see, did this come from the Gulf or is it from somewhere else? Um, so, for example, one thing that LCS can do is they could say, well, look, there's this clear transport barrier, there's, there's really no way oil from this event could have got to this location. Um, so it can be both a sort of a, a, a predictor, but also it can help in some practical situations uh, like the one I just described. Okay. Can you talk about who you're working with? Or are you working with the US government? Are you working with BP? Is this something that's, uh, you know, bunch of people together trying to solve a problem? So uh, we're working with some uh, one of some government agencies involved in this well, so uh, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. Um, uh, they have a team of leading modelers who are uh, running models to predict where the oil is going. Um, they're also collaborating with people from several other institutes and universities throughout the US uh, on this. It's certainly a, a very major effort. and. So we're one of the people who's uh, working with them to help uh, make these predictions of, of where the oil's going to go up. Um, specifically, we're working on the uh, the LCS approach to see what it can uh, what it can do. Um, but yeah, we're working mostly with uh, uh, government people working with government doing the modeling. Seems like a very complex problem. Um, I wish you luck, and thanks for talking to me today. Yeah, my pleasure.